This scene is for customizing custom physics cars. Select Vehicle Custom Spawner. Choose Spawn Type, Player, or Traffic. Open Sub Scene. Select Vehicle Collection. Here are the vehicle presets. Select it. Here are the list of the added player vehicles. Same preset for the traffic vehicles. To speed things up, you can also drag and drop the car you want into the sub scene without using presets. Let's open the player vehicle prefab. Set the origin move type according to your needs. Adjust the initial position of the suspension and the position of the wheels by dragging the green arrow. Set the wheel radius and width. Set the cast type and cast layer. You can read more about the parameters in the documentation. Now, launch the scene. Press tab or arrow to change the test location. Open the vehicle prefab. Experiment with different parameters. Save prefab. After saving, press backspace key. Pass an obstacle. Hold left mouse button and move mouse cursor to change camera view. Let's change the suspension length. And pass an obstacle again. Now, change the mass and stiffness. As you can see, the car starts to jump. Stiffness, damping, vehicle mass and apply impulse offset can all affect this. Apply impulse offset from contact point of the wheel. Ensure that the offset and center of gravity of the vehicle are close to each other. If the center of gravity is too low, the car will almost never flip over, but the body and suspension will be less stable. If in the center of the car, the car will look more like a real car. Set the parameters back and set the apply offset impulse to zero. Let's take a little drive. Now the car is starting to roll on its side. That's because now the center of gravity is now low and the apply impulse is high. Let's go to the custom steering limit parameter. Custom steering limit sets the steering limit relative to the current speed. As you can see, the car turns instantly at any speed. To fix it, enable custom steering limit. Set limit according to speed in meters per second. Let's go to the ramp. Press space. The transient force parameter is responsible for holding the vehicle on the ramp. Disable forward transient force. As you can see the car started to roll down the ramp. Same for lateral movement. Lateral friction and lateral transient force should be enough. Press tab key to change location. Take a test to see how the car handles. Press the F1 key or car icon to change to another car. You can customize any vehicle in the same way. In the next video, I will show how to integrate legacy pedestrians.